into the presence of God. You are in for a harvest. You are in for a deluge of blessings. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father, we give you the praise. Lord, we worship you. We adore your mighty, mighty, mighty name. We give you all the praise. For in Jesus' awesome name. And Father, we ask that you visit us with your mighty presence and let your word come, Father, like an avalanche in the name of Jesus Christ. Unique kingdom, who are you? I'm the light of the world. I'm a city set on a hill. I can never be hidden. Hallelujah. I will so shine my light that darkness can never comprehend me. Who do you serve? I serve a unique God who does unique things for his unique children in unique ways. Right here in Unique Kingdom Ministries. Hallelujah. So shall it be in your lives, in our lives, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jam your hands together, all you people. And shout to the Lord with a voice of fire as you take your seats in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Amen. We give God the praise. It is a real privilege and I want to appreciate my mother and the Lord for this opportunity to bring the word this morning. Thank you so much, mommy. I'm honored and we give all the glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, are we aware of the theme of the month? Breaking barriers. Hallelujah. It's our month of breaking barriers. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody say I'm breaking barriers in the name of Jesus. So I just put some thoughts together, having consulted the word of God. And I hope that you'll be blessed today in the name of Jesus. Barriers, as you know, barriers, anything that stops you from getting to the place where God wants you to be is a barrier. Praise the name of the Lord. That is just a simple summary of a barrier. Whatever prevents you from getting to where God has designed for you, that becomes a barrier. That becomes a limitation. It becomes a boundary. Praise the name of the Lord. But today we'll be dealing with them. Somebody say, I will deal with them. Barriers can be invisible. Barriers can be visible. Praise the name of the Lord. Barriers can be psychological. It can be spiritual. It can be mental. If you talk about the invisible barriers, that's when we talk about psychology. We talk about uh, the, the spiritual. We talk about the mental. Your orientation. Praise the name of the Lord. There are certain people who have been limited based on the kind of orientation or the foundation upon which they were trained. The precedence, the preferences that were passed on to them by people who were called their first mentors or so-called mentors. Praise the name of the Lord. Some because of their backgrounds. Some because of some negative forces or some influences. Oh my God. And because of those influences, they have been barricaded from the ultimate purpose of God for their lives. Somebody says, it's not my portion. In the name of Jesus. There is always a barrier before a breakthrough. I want you to understand something. Breaking these barriers is what we call breakthrough. Somebody say breakthrough. Breaking barriers is what they call break forth. Say I'm breaking forth on every side. Breaking barriers is what we call breaking out. Say I'm breaking out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You need to challenge barriers. One thing that is constant in scripture is that Every chosen child of God had one or two limitations and barriers. And let me tell you something. My friends, you cannot avoid barriers in your life. You know why? Barriers are to you what a cockroach is to a chicken. <laughs> barriers are to you what rat is to the, to the cat. Praise the name of the Lord. What do they do? They swallow them up. They eat them up. You are meant to mitigate barriers. Praise the name of the Lord. The reason why that thing is in your life is because God has assigned you to deal with it. Praise the name of the Lord. And I'm going to share with you, this is not 
Uh, this is not, uh, not far-fetched. I'm sure a lot of you are already very familiar with the scripture. But let's quickly look at 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 45 to 46. And I'll quickly show you the example, you know, scriptures are given to show you an example. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to quickly show you what David did in his days when he was met with or facing certain barriers. And I, li I like the guy David. I love him so much. You know, he's such a wonderful example if you take the good things that he did. Praise the name of the Lord. Now look at this. David came from a lowly place. David. But in times of those storms and those circumstances, he knew exactly what to do. He knew where to draw strength. He knew who to call upon. Praise the name of the Lord. So he was a conqueror. Say, I am more than a conqueror. The reason why I'm touching on this today is that somebody is coming out victorious today in the name of Jesus. David. David. David replied to the Philistine. Now, I want you to understand something. For somebody here, you need to expect big. Praise the name of the Lord. The reason why that barrier is holding strong is because your limitations have been clamped down. It's because you have listened to a voice that has kept you back all these years. It's because you have been looking at the setbacks. You are not looking at the design that God has for you. Praise the name of the Lord. I like the guy, David. And you, know, you know, contrary to popular belief, contrary to what was happening in that time, when there was warfare, and once war Philistine came and was so braggadocious, and tried to oppress the children of God, David was like, no, 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 no. I know what I carry. Praise the name of the Lord. I know who I serve. I know who I represent. This barrier is too small. In fact, David was already seeing the future. Somebody, what you need to do is to be seen far, far into the future, into your victory. Walking in faith and in that authority that God has given to you. Praise the name of the Lord. What David did was that he saw into the future. He knew that the barrier was already overcome. Praise the name of the Lord. Like I said, he saw that he saw Goliath as a rat for, him, for a cat. Praise the name of the Lord. He was just going to swallow Goliath up. You know what David did that was so interesting? Was that he saw the future. He prophesied it. He even had the audacity to go and stand and say, what will be done for the man that conquers this fool? Praise the name of the Lord. He was so audacious. That is how I want you guys to confront barriers from this moment. Face it. Don't, don't be busy telling God how big your barriers or problems are. Tell them, tell your barriers and your problems how big your God is. Praise the name of the Lord. And David spoke. He said, yeah, you come to me with what? With is it javelin and sword or whatever. When I come to you in the name, you, the name is an advantage for you. Praise the name of the Lord. I come to you what? Hallelujah. Can somebody just, just do something out of the ordinary right now? Can you speak to any barrier that you can mention right now in your life? And tell that barrier that you have come in the name of the Lord. Can you say in the name of Jesus, I conquer you, whatever that you represent in my life. Rapa Sakabarash. You know you will obey me if I address you not in my name, but in the name that is above every other name. The name Jesus. Every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. David replied to the Philistine when he was given the opportunity. He said, you come to me with a sword. With sword, with spear, javelin. Bubu tibu. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies. The God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Somebody here, you are a representative of heaven. You represent the heavenly kingdom. You need to take your place. Praise the name of the Lord. In the face of economical trials, social trials, or whatever, family trials, or tribulations, you need to stand your ground as an ambassador. Hallelujah. Praise God. You are not of this world. You are only a visitor here. You are in this flesh as a resident here just to take charge, to give glory to the God who brought you to this realm. Praise the name of the Lord. But you are not of this world. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me not get carried away. I love what David did. David already prophesied. He said, today, the Lord will conquer you. And I will kill you and cut your head off. Praise the name of the Lord. And then I will give the dead bodies of your men to the birds and wild animals. 
and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. Somebody say there is a God. There is a God in my life. Remember, greater is he that is in you. Praise the name of the Lord. That was what David just enacted. He knew his rights. He knew his constitutional authority as a believer, as a child of God. And he, in, he invoked it against that barrier and that obstacle. And you know what I liked? But you know what I love about this? Now, let's just move quickly to verse 50. The Bible says, so David triumphed. So shall you triumph in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, David prevailed. So shall you prevail in the name of Jesus. You must go beyond our barriers. You must live an extraordinary life. God has made this possible for every one of us. That you must not drop below that standard. You must live an extraordinary life. You must anticipate unusual miracles, signs and wonders. Now, there, is, there was no challenge that was presented to our Lord Jesus that he didn't overcome. Is there any challenge? Praise the name of the Lord. As they were bringing in the guy bound in chains, he said, lose him. Lazarus, come forth for every single challenge that was presented. What did he do? He overcame. He prevailed. Hallelujah. No wonder the scripture says, he disarmed principalities and powers. Yeah, Braskoya. He made a public display of them, triumphing over them in it. Praise the name of the Lord. That is your realm. Somebody say, that is your realm. That is my realm. Hallelujah. As he is, so are you. As he is, so are you. Challenges or barriers are to you. Oh God. What that cockroach is to a chicken. Who has ever seen a cockroach and a chicken? Who has seen it before? Oh my God. It is dinner. It is lunch. It is breakfast. Praise the name of the Lord. That is what that challenge presently standing before you is. It is nothing but a cockroach. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Swallow them up. Eliminate them. Don't tell God. Somebody remember this and take it home. Don't tell God how big your problems are. Don't tell God how big your challenges are or your barriers. Tell those barriers. Confront them and tell them how big your God is. Hey, that is forever and ever. He reigns supreme. He reigns supreme. He reigns triumphant, and he has given you that victorious life. Hallelujah. Amen. Now look at scriptural examples of barriers. Look at that. The Bible says in Psalm 18, verse 29, it says, I will run through a troop and leap over a wall. Did you see that? Praise the name of the Lord. David understood his identity. One of the things I'm going to be showing you first and foremost, I'll tell you some of the causes of barriers. And I mentioned first and foremost that you have the negative forces, the invisible forces, invisible barriers. But also sometimes your pride, your pride can be the reason why you are being withstood. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says even God himself debases the proud. But he gives grace to the humble. Praise the name of the Lord. Sin, number two, sin. Sin causes barriers to reign. But from today, somebody is lifted from that realm of besetting sins in the name of Jesus. You will triumph over sin from today in the name of Jesus. Now, let's quickly look at the ways to tackle barriers. First and foremost, you must be born again. Praise the name of the Lord. Number two, be confident in God and his word. Praise the name of the Lord. Number three, and the scriptural references for number two, number one is 1 John 4.4. 4. Uh, and then 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. Number two, be confident in God and his word. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 4. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 22. Let's look at number 3 quickly. It says, be conscious of God's presence in your life. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Praise the name of the Lord. Number 4, praise. Joshua chapter 6, verse 20. And number 5, engage the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the face of barriers 
Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. 2 Corinthians 3, 17 again. But for this service, I'll just be looking at two, which is your confidence in God and his word and praise as an instrument of warfare against limitations and barriers. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, number one, looking at scriptures and scriptural references, breaking barriers by the word, by being confident in God and his word. First and foremost, you ought to take your place and know what the scriptures say about you. Find your identity. When that identity is concretized by scripture, then you know what to do in the face of barriers. Praise the name of the Lord. For every playing field, there's a rule. There are principles. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God is that principle you should hold fast. That is your jurisdiction. Praise the name of the Lord. That is your constitution. Always refer to it. Don't forget our Lord Jesus Christ. When he was confronted by Satan, he said what? It is what? It is what? It is written. goes a long way to tackle those barriers. And those obstacles. Praise the name of the Lord. And from today, somebody, the word will be made plain for you. In Jesus' name. You will receive the wisdom, light, and revelation you need to conquer those obstacles in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, look at what scripture says. Remember, for every barrier that was presented to the children of God, hallelujah, the scripture shows us that they conquered, even in the most impossible way and manner, First, imagine God parting the Jordan just to make a passage. Hallelujah, praise God. That situation in your life is likened to the Red Sea or the Jordan. The Jordan was parted how many times in the Bible? Who is a Bible student here? How many times did God part a river body in the Bible? Four good times. Four good times to show you that this God is consistent in his business, in his dealings with his children. Praise the name of the Lord. He is not limited or moved by our obstacles. You are the one seeing that obstacle as too big. The Bible says, He says that there is no temptation that is uncommon. Hallelujah. And God will never give you more than you can bear. He will always make a way of escape. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, that is what, if you have this understanding, Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 17 and 27, the Bible says there is nothing too hard for God. God even asked Jeremiah, said, is there anything too hard for me? So what is that thing that you think is impossible in your life? Praise the name of the Lord. Ah, this is the scripture that excites me a lot. And I'm going to read it to you in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 24. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible states clearly here. This is the Lord of heaven's armies has sworn this oath. It will happen as I have planned. Hey, it, it will be as I have decided. As who as has decided? Who? As God has decided. For somebody here, God already has a design for you. And it has been decided. There is nothing the devil or his agents can do about that. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, hear this question. This question is begging for an answer. And for since the Bible was written for those number of years, nobody has, in fact, nobody, nobody has answered that question. And God said, the Lord of heaven's armies has spoken. Who can change his plans? When his hand is raised, who can stop him? Ah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, you don't understand. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Rese prene kandababa. The God that we serve has proposed. Who can annul it? Who? Nobody. 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 In the second heavens, third heavens, nobody anywhere. Ay, 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 God, thank you. He says, as he has stretched forth his hand, who can do it? Hey. Oh my God. You don't understand that audacity, that dominion. Even the enemies cannot fathom it. The kind of authority our God carries, his power, his almightiness. Praise the name of the Lord. So you need to take this to that barrier today. I'll tell that barrier. Hi, say, God has already spoken concerning me. Who are you? Who are you? Hi. 
high. The Bible says, Who oh, at that mountain before Zerubbabel, you will become what? A plane. You will beat the mountain small for your sake. Why do you think that problem is too big? Because you have amplified it. You have magnified it. You have concentrated too much on it. Focus on ministry to God. Praise the name of the Lord. And quickly, I want to take other examples. Look at this. Praise the name of the Lord. Many have placed demands on the word to scatter the barriers in their way. For some of us in our financial realm, the finances, you failed to place a demand on God's promises regarding the tithes and the offerings. Hence, the scarcity. Praise the name of the Lord. There is something that you should do. Make a demand. Hi. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Hallelujah. He says, I will pour out the blessing. Praise the name of the Lord. You need to go back. The Bible says you should present your what? Present your case. Bring forth your strong reasons. Somebody go with the word. The Bible says, take you, take with you words. All you need to do is place a demand. And because God is faithful, he can never fail. Praise the name of the Lord. It is written, it is written. That should be your quote from today. It is written, it is written, it is written. Even in the face of storms and whatever they are called. We have a name. They don't have, in fact, their names are irrelevant, useless, inconsequential to the name that has been given. That is above every other name. So that name was bad. To the name of Jesus. Whatever the barrier is, it must bow because Jesus reigns supreme. Praise the name of the Lord. Go back to the word. Present your case. Bring forth your strong reasons. It is written, it is written just as Jesus said. Somebody say after me. Say, let my tithes and offerings bring forth a hundredfold harvest in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, for every covenant child of God, whenever they sow, they reap. Praise the name of the Lord. If you're not reaping, then contend with that barrier. Because God has already set an algorithm. He has already put in place a systematic working, an operation. Once you sow, the Bible says, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Wrap up that there is time to sow and there is time to reap. Praise the name of the Lord. So while the earth remains, seed time, there's seed time and harvest. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, breaking barriers by praise. Somebody turn to your Bibles. Turn to Acts chapter 2, verse 47. Another person, please. Acts 16, 25, 26. And this one, we will practice it today. Praise the name of the Lord. What do you see there? Acts 2, 47. It says, praising God. And what? And having favor. Uh-huh. Praise the name of the Lord. Praising God. And what? You have not turned your Bibles yet. <laughs> All the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of the people. Praise. Praise precedes God's goodness. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise precedes victory. Praise the name of the Lord. If you have learned how to praise, then you have learned how to get God's attention. And for some of us, God has already put the keys in your hands, the access for that open door. I don't care what the barrier is. I don't care if it's near success syndrome or failure at the edge of breakthrough. I don't care if it's a negative circle or a negative pattern. I do not care if it is poverty, lack, want, or scarcity, or empty-handedness. I don't care what it is. Ambras canto prebenda sanda. I know that as you begin to praise God, they will check out this morning to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise is powerful. Somebody minister to God this morning. Just minister to God. Oh, Father, I love you. Lord, I live to praise you. I live to worship you. I am that I am. Hey, the light of the world. Hey, the mighty God that we serve. The God of the entire universe. I give you the praise and there is none like you in the whole earth. Who is mighty like you? Who can battle with you? Hey, when you speak, Masakarabo Shkaba, who can turn it? Who can say, yeah, 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 who can silence our God? Mantopaka Baraka, 
who can confront you, oh God? There is no body. When the Lord be for me, if God be for me, who can be against me? Ay, 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 ay. He is a mighty God. Father, we give you the praise. Praise is a form of warfare. Look at what happened in Jericho. There's no time right now. At the, you know, the time they released a blast, a sound command of praise. What happened? The wall collapsed. Somebody, God is waiting for you to release that praise. Release it! Hi, stop. Don't hold it back. Express that praise. Give it expression. Praise the name of the Lord. Quickly, 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 I'm going to move very fast. Father, we give you the praise. Somebody say, Heavenly Father. Deliver my mind from every word or every influence I have heard or been under from my childhood that has become a barrier to what you want to do in my life. In the name of Jesus, somebody, you will gain unstoppable speed after this light that has come your way in the name of Jesus. Barriers have been broken in the name of Jesus. Oh, for somebody, Joshua chapter 21 verse 45, the Bible says, and I read, I want to read it clearly. Praise the name of the Lord. 21 verse 45, the Bible says clearly here. It says, not a single one of all the pro good promises the Lord has given to the family of Israel will be left unfulfilled. Everything he had spoken came true. Praise the name of the Lord. See, not a single one of all the promises, all the good promises failed. Not one of them. Let's look at the uh, New King James. It says, not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord has spoken to the house of Israel. All came to pass. Our mommy has been releasing powerful and prophetic words. God has sent me to remind you that not one will fail. Amen. Not one will fail. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you are to go, with, go to war with those prophecies. People of God, look at that child walking there. That is one of them. Look at that testimony there. That is one of those words that did not fail. Hallelujah. This is a testament that God is here. It's a testament. Look at that child there. I want you to look at that impossible situation, that difficulty. And look at that child again. Oh my God. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Bada Bada. Hi. I cannot stop praising this God. For the past one year, I could not feel my tank. These days, I go to the filling station and feel tank. Is it by my doing? No! Because there is a God in Israel. Is there not? Because there is a God. Say somebody, say, there is a God in my life. Because there is a God in my life. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Because there is a God. And he sent his prophet. In our case, he sent his prophetess. Somebody stand to your fitness quickly. Pray some, make some declarations to God this morning. First and foremost, report it. We thank God and appreciate Him for His authority. For the authority He has given to us for His word. Reba seya shola la la. Represe to the era la kafas. Manzi lebe shola la la. Manako se la 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 la. We take a samara barash. We give the praise. Oh, no, we give you the 
Before we charge in prayers, there is a scripture and I want you to hold it. The Bible says, put it as frontlets in front of your faces. Never forget it. Zerubbabel. So this is what the Lord says to Zerubbabel. This is what the Lord says to Lovelin. This is what the Lord says. Mention your name. This is what the Lord says. It is not by what? It is not by power. Nor is it by might. But by my spirit, says the Lord of heaven's armies. Praise the name of the Lord. Shatampa Kantirash. Look at this. He says, Nothing, not even a mighty mountain will stand in Lovely's way. Not even a mighty mountain will stand in Unusa's way. Are you claiming it? Yes. Not even a mighty mountain will stand in Zerubbabel's way. It will become a level plain before him. And when Zerubbabel set the final stone of the temple in place, the people will shout, May God bless it. May God bless it. They will, they will scream, Grace, grace unto it. Praise the name of the Lord. Finally, Zerubbabel is the one who laid the foundation of this temple and he will complete it. May the joy is the one who started that work, she will finish it. Miracle, you started that work, you will finish it. Okay, Jonas, you started the work, you will finish it. Whatever you start, you will finish. In the name of Jesus. Rambles, can you pray now? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we receive the grace to obtain victory. We receive the grace to obtain victory over the visible and invisible barriers today. In the name of Jesus. Many barriers broke in my life because of the introduction of a prophetess into my life. I am grateful to God and I come with this good news in the name of Jesus. That Goliath in your life is coming down. The force that intimidates you is coming down. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Somebody is time to invite your haters over for a cup of tea and encourage them. Encourage them because they are failing. Oh, I'm brand do say. I've been looked down upon. I have been insulted, trampled upon. But God showed up. Hallelujah. Those barriers today are nowhere. Oh my God. I am a living testimony as every one of you here is. In 
Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Before I step out of the way, I just bring this message to one person here. You will do in one week what you couldn't do in 10 years. You will see yourself doing what was impossible. In the name of Jesus. For somebody, don't underestimate what God can do through you. Do not underestimate what God can do through you. You are to break records for others in your family, in your lineage, to be able to reach other heights. It is you that is meant to break that barrier. As you hear the word, may God release floods of his goodness that will trust you beyond barriers of the past into the extraordinary life you were designed to live. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For somebody, you don't need too much prayers. Start aiming for bold and audacious targets. Stop with all small plans and dream big. You may start small and look up, but you are not permitted to remain that way. Dream big. Expect big. David asked about what will be done for the triumphant soldier because he dreamt big. He was thinking big. Dream big, think big, and believe big. What you say in the face of barriers matter. David said, I will take your head off your neck. Ay, 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 ay. Praise the name of the Lord. Speak to that barrier today with audacity. He commanded, remember, God is the one who, hi, he calls those things that be not as though they were. He commanded light out of the darkness. No limits, no boundaries. It is time to break forth and break out. Father, we give you the praise. I am grandson Taraj. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. Can we have the choir give us some praise? Can we have the choir give us some praise? Can I know praise? Oh, I see what the Lord has done for me.